Hey, Chris Fidan here. Let me show you how I go about routing the One Kit Wonder Modern Fusion Pack by Giga Drums inside Ableton Live. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up our output section. Now, you can see here, this is our output section, and if this isn't there, up here at the top, you want to click and make sure that output is selected. So you can see that there. So, in our output section, you want to click the plus sign, and you're going to see here quantity and number of channels. The number of channels we want is two for a stereo pair. So with quantity, put a 16. I put it at 16. Uh, we're not going to probably use all 16, but um, just for ease of use. Now the next thing, uh, two things that are important is delete existing channels before creating new ones. That's going to delete basically everything in here. And then the other thing is make this your default configuration. We want to make sure that once we do this, it's set up so we don't have to worry about it. Um, so then we'll hit OK. It's saying that it made it the default. Hit OK. And then you can see we got 16 stereo channels. Now there's a few other things that we need to do. We need to tell it. We need to set up our routing. But first, what we need to do is we need to set up our naming convention. And what I like to do is, uh, depending on what kit I'm on, I'll come in here. And uh, for example, in this one, you can see it says kick, snare, tom on, tom two, tom three, overhead, and room. Now, you can set this up exactly like this if you would like, so you can um, mix the toms individually. However, the way that I do it is I group them together or bus them together um, according to where they are in uh, where the drums are set up. So like in this case, you have rack toms and floor toms. So the way that I do it is kick, snare, racks, floors, overheads, OH, and room. So now, once that is done, we need to come over here into presets, and we need to save, we need to click on save current output section state as default for all formats. So we initially made it uh, the default with our uh, 16 channels, but it didn't save our new naming convention. So that's why we have to go and do this save uh, current state for all formats. So once we do that, now you can come over here and mine is set up already because I've already done this, but yours will not look like this. In order for it to look like this, what you're gonna have to do is you're going to have to remove contact and reload contact. And once you reload contact, your naming convention is going to show up exactly like this. So before we do this, we need to set up our routing. So down here in the output section, we'll click here. And literally, since we did our naming convention and we saved it and reloaded it, it shows it. So again, super simple. We just got to match up, kick one, kick two, hit OK. It's saying that we need to close and reopen. Uh, so we can do that after. So then we'll match the snare with the snare. And then, oops. Snare one, snare two. And then uh, just like I said, match shapes up. Racks one, racks two. So let me do this and I will be right back. All right, so now we're going to save the current output section state as default for the last time for all formats. That's gonna keep our routing. So since everything is done in contact, we set up all the routing uh, into uh, Giga Drums and everything, we need to set up the routing inside Ableton Live. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create all the tracks. Um, now the easiest way to do that is to hit Command T on a Mac or Control T on a Windows PC. And what that'll do is we'll, it'll create tracks. Now, in this case, we need to create one, two, three, four, five, six different tracks. However, um, in Ableton Live, it counts this as a track. So we just really need to make five. So I will hold Command and hit T. One, two, three, four, five. So now that we have those, I'm gonna select this one, hold Shift, and then select this one so they're all selected so I can basically change every uh, channel at once. And where it says here, audio from, we need to choose contact. 
That's going to be Giga Drums. After that, see where it says monitor? We want to change that to in. So now it's going to be constantly listening for contact. The next thing we need to do is we need to deselect. So we're not selecting everything. And, and with each channel, we need to come in and we need to do, you see where it's, how it doesn't say kick? Well, this is our kick here. It's, uh, it's a little confusing, but um, this is the only way that I know how, <laughs> how to do it. So anyways, so here, snare, racks, floors, overhead, room. So after that, I mean, you're basically done. You can see that everything is routed. Now, the next thing that I would go about doing is naming all of these. So again, this one is going to be kick, snare, racks, floors, overhead, and room. Then I'll right or I'll select all by holding shift and selecting, and then I'll right click and make them blue. I like to keep my drums blue. Next thing that I will do is I will group them so I can uh, bus them together and uh, do like a master, I'm sorry, a master drum bus. So command or control G to group. And then I'll label this drums. So now again, I can, ma I can do a, a drum bus and, and like a drum mix basically. So after that, I mean, you're basically set up. All right, so it's pretty much that easy. Um, there's a little bit of routing involved, but it's not too difficult inside Ableton Live. They made it pretty easy. Um, but again, that's it. If you guys have any questions or uh, you're running into any sort of issues, you can hit me up on here or you can hit me up on Instagram at chris.badan. Please like and subscribe. Share this to any with anyone who is having issues or anything like that. Or again, you can re refer them to me. But other than that, have a great day, guys. See you soon.